on April 19, uh, you told the Senate that you had accepted the recommendation to fire Mr. McKay because he had shown bad judgment in pushing an information sharing system and in speaking to the press about the department, um, uh, about department resources. You remember that testimony? Yes. I Whatever he was uh, pushing or not pushing uh, occurred in the summer of 2006. Um, the letter uh, on the information system you discussed in the Senate was dated August 30, 2006. Mr. McKay was already targeted for removal by uh, Mr. Sampson in March of 2005 because the documents uh, show that he was already uh, on the list. Um, um, uh, so uh, are you aware of any legitimate reason that John McKay should have been uh, forced uh, out as a U.S. attorney in March of 2005 as opposed to the things you talked about in two, uh, that occurred in 2006? I would have to go back and look at that, Congressman. Uh, again, what I recall is that when when uh, I accepted the recommendations, I, did, I was not surprised to see Mr. McKay included uh, because I was aware of concerns in the way that he pushed this information sharing uh, project. Again, I, and I applaud his efforts in, in, in that he was doing his job. Okay, Mr. Attorney General, I, I understand what you're saying. You've got to go back and look, but uh, there's been some suggestion, uh, unfortunately, um, um, uh, our investigators asked Kyle Simpson uh, his, uh, um, uh, and he said that he remembered uh, department officials being upset that Mr. McKay had pushed for action regarding the department's investigation of the murder of Thomas Wales. Um, um, and uh, there was some concern that uh, he was not being, that he was being over. It wasn't, the, it wasn't, in my mind, a reason why uh, I accepted the recommendation. And I was not aware of this uh, specific concerns within the department until very, very recently. So I don't know why, if, in, if that was a reason why uh, he was included as, as part of the recommended group, uh, th th that's something you'd have to ask others involved in this process. I have not had the opportunity to and, do that. And if, it was a, if that was among the reasons, uh, would you agree with Mr. McKay, um, who has characterized this as, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to quote what, exactly what he says, the idea that I was pushing too hard to investigate the assassination of a federal prosecutor is mind-numbing, close quote. Uh, uh, if it's true, it's just immoral, and if it's false, then the idea that the Department of Justice would use the death of Tom Wells to cover up what they did is just unconscionable. I'm, I'm would you agree with uh, that it would be immoral and unconscionable for you all to be firing somebody because they were investigating the death of one of their own we have, uh, staff people? That's a crime, and we need an obligation to, to, of course, uh, to investigate and prosecute those responsible for it. I'm not aware that the Department, however, is using that as a reason or excuse, uh, a basis. Well, I, I, you, you obviously haven't listened to the testimony of some of the people in the Department then because uh, that, and that, that, is, was, that, that was a, an excuse that was advanced initially. Um, and, and that's the problem here, Mr. Attorney General. Um, uh, there are so many different excuses advanced at different times whenever it's convenient uh, that you have this appearance that there is something else there. And in this case, um, Mr. McKay uh, also failed to aggressively or as aggressively prosecute as some people thought he ought to prosecute and pursue some voting fraud uh, uh, cases that were taking place after a, an election took place. And it might have um, had some impact on a Democrat versus a Republican uh, being elected. So. Um, uh, it's that concern that the public is concerned about, Mr. Attorney General. If that's uh, at the bottom of this, that would be an improper motivation for a termination and would be illegal. Wouldn't you agree? I, I, I agree that uh, if, in fact, uh, uh, there was pressure put on Mr. McKay to investigate a case where, which didn't warrant an investigation, 
but obviously uh, if, there, there may be circumstances where an investigation may have been warranted, and so we'd have to look at the circumstances of, of a particular case. I don't recall that when I made my, dis my when I accepted the recommendation, Congressman, uh, Congressman, that that was a reason uh, for for it is, is his efforts with respect to voter fraud. But clearly, I do going back and looking at the documents and the correspondence, there were there was a, a great deal of a concern about his efforts with respect to voter fraud, because I received a number of letters from groups and uh, uh, outside parties So you didn't my fire office. him for that reason, but somebody uh, might have put him on the list for that reason. That's well, really what you're saying, Mr. Attorney General. I don't, I, again, uh, Congressman, I, I'm assuming that this committee has spoken with everyone who, who provided input, and of course the person who, who was compiling the information, Mr. Sampson, uh, and would know better than I. Because